School buses stack more than three to a seat, and parents at Parkview Apartments say their children are in danger, forced to wait on a busy street. Now they're calling out the Monroe City School Board. NBC 10's Bria Jones out at that best stop this morning. Bria, what are parents telling you? Gordon and Natasha, parents at Parkview are fed up, telling me they're tired of the overcrowded buses and having their kids catch the bus on Richwood Road Number 2, a highly traveled street. Students and parents at Parkview Apartments. People be coming in and out. They drive past the bus stop. Nine out of ten, the woman don't even have the bus stops out. So the people just drive past them out of child can get hurt in. Thank God for being my child get hurt. Natalie Williams has three kids. She's one of the many parents who say they want the school bus to come inside the gate. The accident waiting to happen. We can't stop a big truck. We can't stop these cars. We can't stop these sides of one of the children run out here mistakenly. For weeks, parents have been voicing their concerns. They feel overlooked because their neighborhood has a bad reputation. Gunplay happens everywhere. It's something that us as parents with these little children that we can't control. All we can control is getting our children to the bus stop safely. The one thing that parents and the school board can agree on is this gate needs to be opened. Unlock this gate, the buses will be able to come on through. And Mr. 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 Uh, Dream said he have no problem letting the buses come through. K-9, a local activist, has been following the situation for a month. This is this is wrong. This is not a cage for animals. Come on, are you serious? Let the bus come through. In the meantime, parents say they won't hold their breath, waiting for something to be done. As a police sitting here, have, bring out the school bus signs that need to be out here. More railing something. Do, do what needs to be done for these children. I reached out to Brenda Schelling, the school board representative over Madison James Foster Elementary. She said it was too close to election time to give a comment. I also reached out to the apartment complex management, but have yet to hear back from their district office. If that changes, we'll be sure to give you an update. In the studio, Bria Jones, NBC 10, your local news leader. Thanks.